Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable baby booties. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks and I'm a full-time balloon artist here in the UK. For each baby booty, you're going to need two five inch balloons and one 160 balloon. Inflate this balloon with four strokes of the hand pump. One, two, three, four, okay? And then we can tie that in a knot. Inflate this balloon with two strokes of the hand pump. One, two. Tie a soft knot, by which I mean don't pull the knot tightly when you tie it. So you can take hold of the knot and you can roll it along the neck of the balloon, which means we can do this with the balloon. It's really nice and soft and squishy. You're going to need a little piece of 160. So push the air into the neck with your middle finger, put that on top of the nozzle, push, push your finger into the balloon and push it, it towards that a bit of latex there that is darker and thicker. Okay, and once you can grab hold of the knot with this hand, you can remove your finger and put a twist. Okay, and then you can take that little piece of 160, wrap it around a few times, and then just tie the ends together. Okay, and once you've tied that once, I recommend you tie it a second time. Okay, so that's what you've got. Just trim off the excess here. And then you're going to need four glue dots or U-glue dashes. And we're just going to position them around the base of the balloon. Remove the backing and then stick this balloon to your first balloon there. Inflate your 260 with the pocket pump. And leave a long tail of about six fingers or so. Let a little bit of air out just to soften that. Okay. Make a bubble of about four fingers. Followed by a small bubble of about one and a half to two fingers. Fold the balloon over. Grab hold of this bubble, pull it upwards and twist it around. Okay. Next, we're going to make a loop of about four fingers. So just twist that around and wrap it around the pinch twist. Make another loop to match this one. About four fingers, twist. And then we can wrap those two loops around one another. Okay. Next, we're going to make a series of 10 small bubbles. So make a small bubble of about one and a half to two fingers, followed by another bubble of a very similar size. Don't worry if they're not exact. And a third bubble. And it's really important when we're doing this that we don't let go of the beginning or the end of our balloon because if we do, these bubbles that we're making will unravel. Okay, so that's bubble number five. And if it's easier, you can actually push your little finger through one of those loops just to hold on to them and hold on to this side as well. I think that's seven, eight, nine, Ten. Let me just double check. So two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes. Okay. So this section here, we can wrap into the loops there. Okay. So we've secured the ends, both ends of those bubbles. So they're not going to come undone. And then we want to make another bubble to match this one. Okay. So about four fingers. Snip off the end and tie and then we can trim off the nozzle and the uninflated section here just to tidy everything up and then just pass the bubbles over the top of that pink balloon there and you've got this really lovely baby booty hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you'll subscribe and if you want to learn how to make this fabulous baby shower freestanding air filled balloon arch then i'll leave a link in the video next check out this video next